Where's that? Two, scene two, take two. Best fan. All right, so we're we he, he clicked the clacker and we're what is that thing called anyway? Clapper marker. See, I was so fucking the close. Clapper. The clapper. The clapper. Not to be confused with the clap. <laughs> well, lifetime supply of penicillin <laughs> can take care he's, of that. He's like, There's no. a difference between chlamydia and the clap. True story. Did Explain it to me, because I'd like to know. They're two different STDs. First of all, the clap is not an STD that is in any book anywhere. That's fucking slang for chlamydia. It is not. It is. I'm telling you, after 20 plus years in the medical field dealing with fucking shitheads that have gotten shit like that, there's a difference between chlamydia. What makes them a shithead if they catch an STD? It's Put like on a fucking fault. condom. Those things suck. Like who uses It's self-inflicted. Really, who uses condoms? Have you ever seen a fucking dude that has one of those fucking like barracks haircuts that you're like, that is fucking horrible and you just laugh at him yeah. and it's it's his fault because it's self-inflicted? Yeah. Same thing with the idiot running around with chlamydia. Mm. What do you, yeah, uh-huh. Self-inflicted. You didn't want to put on a fucking condom when you're stirring fucking dirty waters and- How do you know they're dirty? You don't know. Oh, yeah. you know after, oh, come on. Three o'clock in the morning at Helen's in San Clemente. I mean, maybe. You might be asking for it. But. <laughs> you might be asking for it? All right. Yeah, we're and not only are we, you know, have a fucking show here about video games and shit, we're also like well, sex education. And yeah, teams. I mean, so also if you want to contact Savage Actual, the LA County School System, Orange County School System, we'll come in, we'll teach a thorough and in-depth sex education course. We already have the PowerPoints. We have the do's and do nots. We are ready to go. Lots of do nots. Lots of do nots. Learn from, from through experience. years of, of... From experience. Yeah. Okay, let's get into this. Yeah, what's up? Uh, we are doing Call of Duty again, and this is Vorkuda. Uh, mad reviews on the positive realm about this. So this is up there in the upper echelon. Yeah, I don't know what year. Popularity. So yeah, we don't know what year. It is. Off the top of my head, I don't know what year Vorkuta came out. I believe it was 2013, 14, 15. I don't know. One of those. One I'm of those. Not, I'm not even trying. But it, it's it's a super popular campaign slash mission on uh, Call of Duty. It's uh, out of the Russian Gulag Vorkuta, and yeah, so it's supposed to be pretty interesting. This is going to be the first time that Jason and I have ever taken a look at it. So fucking don't be Judgy Judgerson. Ready? Here we are. Ready? Call of Duty Vorkuta. In your ear holes. He's like, oh yeah. And he's also running this. He's also the dude that we're watching is running this on like high speed veteran, like badass level. So all sorts of like, bow, 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 Call of Duty. Now, is it me or is this dude's voice? He was the dude that played the the, the Marine in, um, what was that fucking Steven Spielberg Space Alien Dances with Wolves movie? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Space alien, it's about Avatar? Yes! Avatar is basically fucking Dances with Wolves in Space. Prove me wrong. Prove me fucking wrong. <laughs> dances with Wolves in Space. It, it, <laughs> Tutaka. Tutaka. Dude, okay, Avatar is a badass fucking movie. It's one of my favorite snow And it's Dances with Wolves in Space. And that is his voice. 
Yes. What's that guy's name? I don't know. It's, it's absolutely him. He, he was, was good in that movie. He was a space first recon marine. That's why it's my favorite fucking movie. Same unit, but in the future. You have right. Victor Renzov. Renzov. See Mason? So that's Mason's voice, is what you're getting there. Yeah. Detention at Borkuta Labor Camp in USSR. Yeah. Secure the key. Step one! I love how they all know. Like, step one, secure the keys! Step two! Press <laughs> Press X to knife motherfuckers. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Oh. No, he's killing all the guards. Like, oh, yeah. Fuck you, guard. What the fuck did that guy just do? <laughs> he, like. <laughs> he's like, he, he got up and then fucking. Died and just enough energy to stand up and fall on. <laughs> that was, was quite the flip flop there. What the hell are these guys doing? This guy's got a guard and a headlock. A big son, a big. It looks like Joey. <laughs> Joey's a good guy. <laughs> the dude running now looks like Joey, our beard guy. That's how I run. <laughs> like all, all widespread. Look at these. Going this is chaos, man. Oof. They're skull stomp that guy. Dude, they're like, the horde has got to get out of there. Step two. What was step two? Release the horde. Yeah, I think that's what it was. She's big. You sure can trust, us America. trust Mason. He's a good dude. Look at this dude. Yeah, he us are not so different. We are all soldiers without an army, betrayed, forgotten, abandoned. In Fakulta, we are all brothers. Well, it didn't look like that on the way out. <laughs> oh, shit. Prisoner B2156. It's just like, they're like, let Sergi come out. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Ugh. Sergi just jacked that dude's intestines up. He just got penetrated. <laughs> I love how you scan across and you get the prisoner's number. A three seven eight six. We Russians know this better than anyone. This is Russia. Fuck that bitch. Oh shit. Jesus. Well. Well, that was ballsy. You got. You got a machine gun, and they're just like, well, run out into that with a pistol and nothing. Dude, I have not played this. This looks actually looked pretty fun. So it's supposed to be incredibly popular because you're, you're not only are you running around with the weapons and stuff, but at some point you're on a motorcycle racing through, and I'm not sure if we're going to see that, but you're on a motorcycle. There's a bunch of stuff that goes on here, like you're shooting down freaking helicopters. So we're going to see a lot of crazy stuff that... Uh, I know Call of Duty had never done before until this this specific episode, so. Oh, Mason just took a shot. Yeah, pick up one of those weapons, man. Dude, I was just gonna, how many rounds is this now? Oh, oh, he had extra mag, there you go, one. Exploding round. Oh, he just changed his mag after like six shots. Where is this machine gun that's in front of them? Is it a tower up yeah, there? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Oh! I guess those guys hiding behind that coal fucking cart or whatever it is. Like, there's no point in that, I guess. You just run out. Just, you're, How many fucking rounds this dude got? Dude, I know. Barrel, they're they're talking it. guns, man. There's like four of them up there. <laughs> space yeah, I know. Space. Yeah, there's just like, time. they're so good. They're so good. They're Spetsnaz machine gunners. Yeah, there was like no break and... Yeah, it was like almost like a... <laughs> Dude's like, I got 200,000 rounds that I've connected together and I'm just fuck... Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine that? how hot that barrel would be? You're just... <laughs> for like five minutes straight. How many dudes have you known to grab a barrel? 
Oh, I've seen a couple. Yeah. I, no, I've seen, I saw a dude grab a 50 cal barrel with mechanics gloves on, burned right through him. Oh, I bet. Oh, dude. He, and he did, was like, uh, didn't even think about it. He didn't have the heavy, like, you know, the, the mitts that come with the kit. Yeah, he picked it up with mechanics gloves and burned the shit out of himself. We need every man to play his part. Step four, unleash the horde. Russian flag is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, better than it is now. You're like, you confuse it between, is that Russian or is it French? See, now they're gonna, they're gonna start putting dudes down with water balloons. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Just like, Molotov cocktails or something? Yeah, basically. Whoa! Another one. What are all those people down there? I think people escaping. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, all the prisoners, right? Sling and release to fire. Targets are the towers, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 there you go. Why is it taking them so long to oh, fucking shit. reload? Not like. There. Maybe they're just waiting for him to stop talking. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Reznov, can you shut the fuck up so we can hit the tower? We're, you're, we're mowing, they're mowing down our buddies here. There you go, he's aiming there. There you go. Dude, you can't really see what the fuck that is, though. It's like a fucking skull. <laughs> a a bit, a fiery skull, like, dipped in kerosene. Look at that big fucking saw right there. Oh, but oh, uh, the thing up on the top, yeah. Reznov likes the sound of his voice. I think <laughs> they're all like, Reznov, can you shut the hell up so we can uh, get out of this? Dude, fuck being in prison, man. <laughs> Shit scares me. <laughs> Keeps you up at night, does it? Dude, I have dreams about prison. It's so weird. <laughs> I do. Well, you know what? Maybe you should stop driving in the HOV lane with just one person. <laughs> Your dog doesn't count. Yeah. I did do it, I flipped my uh, <laughs> the visor down. <laughs> yeah, I put a, put a hat on Logan and just like, you drive around with him. I got I got actually a funny story about that. Your little mannequin just put it in there? Dude, no, I, I had a friend whose wife worked for a funeral place. She literally got pulled over in the hearse with a dead person in the back in the HOV lane in Virginia. Pulled her over, and the cop walks up, was like, you don't have anybody else? She's like, and he started laughing and was like, you seriously have somebody back there? And she's like, yeah. He's like, that doesn't, he's like, I'm gonna let you go, but that doesn't, for the future reference, that doesn't count for HOV and let her go. Dead body. Yeah. I'm like, that's, that's pretty boss. All right. Whoa. He's got a shoddy now. There you go. What's a Russian shotgun? I don't know. I was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have them. Yeah, for sure. I wonder what's a. Hey, you crazy gun nuts out there in uh, the Savage Army, let us know what are some brands of, uh, of uh, Russian shotguns. Yeah. I'm, I'd be interested to hear that. Benelli is Italian, right? Yep. Of course, we got all the American ones. You got Remington and Mossberg. I don't know if that's. Is that American? Yeah. Is it? Okay. So you got Remington and Mossberg are huge ones, obviously. Sci-Tech. I think it's S-A-I-T-E-K. They make one. Is that Russian? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, so. Here's the deal. Just because we're special operations guys, like, I don't fucking, like, play with myself over ballistics. <laughs> like... It was my job to execute people, and I enjoyed it. But, like I didn't go home and like fucking. Let me read up on gun. Yeah, I, like, did you have it? Did you have a uh, a subscription to Guns and Ammo? Oh, no, dude. You know, I know. Surfing or eating sushi or trying to find vagina. Like <laughs> if you like fucking talk about a gun all the time, like. And there are dudes that are just super into that. Dude, you obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's got their own hobbies. Like I respect that, but like, dude. Yeah, they think everybody in the military, like, you know everything about guns. Know everything and about guns. Like, no, I can go out and fucking deploy it. I yeah. fucking shoot anyone with a gun accurately. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get gun, guns wrong all the time. Like, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah. People don't like, oh, that dude just ran right in front of that dude shooting. 
Uh, come on, Mason, you're smarter than that. Do I know a lot about weapons? Yes, but like, yeah. more employment than anything. Yeah, and that's a big part of it. That's a lot. It's cool, you know a lot about Oh, so yeah, look, and then they shoot a, uh, they just fired a, uh, oh, dude, they fired like some sort of, up. yeah, but they fired a uh, grappling hook from a something and it pulled the, pulled the helicopter down. That was a big one for this Where's episode. The dude that fell out, I want to see his body. Dude, he's just sploosh. <laughs> Release the horn! Dude. Oh, nice. It's just like uh, Tarkov right here. Yes, I would love to have an AK with that Russian variant freaking uh, 203. Oh. On my wall. Yeah, Dude. So, and those are not, because ours are 40 millimeter. Those are like, what, 39? 39. 39. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Of course, the Russians got to do something different because. But dude, I would love that gun right there. I would like to have that. We're gonna we're gonna have to get that for the uh, Vegas blowout. I want I want to shoot friggin' grenades out on the range. Yeah, they do some cool shit. So we're looking at going out to Battlefield Vegas, which is uh, a uh, company that allows you to like shoot all kinds of cool shit. They got a tank. They got a Sherman, I believe. Uh, they do a bunch of cool shit, so looking forward to going out there with those guys. Dude, it looks like he's just dropping that in there. I, I don't, I doubt. Yeah, that's actually, I don't know how it's supposed to be done. I wonder if that's realistic. Dude, they're, they're killing some dudes to get out of this camp. Yeah, this is one. So that's the thing, too. It's not just that, it wasn't just, it's a whole mining operation, I think, was a big part. Yeah, they looked like they were in the... They were work slave yeah, workers. Yeah, now basically. Trying to get out of fucking prison. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sergi's done. Bro, it's a long fucking. Mason, get the oh, Mason's like, fuck you, dude. Oh, oh, did he? Oh, he got him out. I thought he was just gonna leave him for dead. He's a veteran too. This guy's playing very hard. Let's go. Yeah, I gotta give him some respect there. That's too. That's true. He's he's playing Max freaking veteran on here, so. Yeah, so this is just isn't like just I take 27 shots and I still haven't died. Quiet intel. That's how it is in real life. <laughs> yeah, you run into a room. And it's, it's just intel on it. And you just hold F and you get it. It just it goes into your like dump pouch. <laughs> yeah, that's very uh. Hollywood dudes oh. repelling down shooting at the same time. That was pretty funny. To slide down that <laughs> shit. Knowing there was fighters down there. Like, no. Oh, yeah. You know you're going to get shot in the friggin' gut. Sure like, cool. fall off the rope. Protect? Is that Rezov or whatever his name is? Whoa. I put that charge on there. Quick. Yeah. Well, I, it was dudes on the other side coming in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh. Fuck that wearing. How many times did you shoot that dude in the fucking head? Damn, he just fragged his body. That thing landed right there. <laughs> and that's why they're all running. <laughs> they're like, we just. I just threw a grenade fucking three feet. Uh oh. Is he got a. Flamethrower. Yeah. That's, I'm waiting for that thing to pop off. Dude, we need a flamethrower. Yes, we do. We'll get it. We'll get it. <sighs> See, that's the thing now. He's on veteran. He just took a round, super red, but it went away really quick. Did you see that? Like, I, you, I think you should be if you're playing on veteran mode and like you get shot. shot yeah. It not. I don't think you necessarily have to go down after one shot. Oh, it's, it's a, a freaking. It's a yeah. It's a, a cutter. Um, you should be like wounded a little longer because he fucking went from the red to nothing like in a matter of a couple seconds. That was a little quick. What the, are they trying to break into a safe or something? Pretty accurate with that thing. Yeah. This guy's pretty good. Jesus. I, 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 I he's shooting like one round at a time, dude. Like bullets. Why are you shooting? I'm like, are they breaking into a safe? 
Oh, dude, he's shooting like right at his buddy, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, right through him, yeah. Yeah, I can guarantee you some of those rounds would have went through him. Jesus Christ, how many rounds are you taking? That's the thing, they've showed a couple of these bad guys. Oh, yeah, the minigun, too. Of course, of course. Where's all the ammunition for that thing? Yeah. It's a video game. It's, it's good. It's fun. It's fun. It's supposed to be entertaining. That's what it is. I mean, would you not want to walk around with a minigun just mowing motherfuckers down? Like, who doesn't want to do that? I love that the the scene in Predator when the old boy's just like laying into the fucking jungle. Dude, he just fucking smoked his own Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> He's definitely killing in front of us. Yeah, he doesn't care, it's dude. Really great dude, they're just a bunch of goddamn. It's a two seven three five just fucking. No feeling. Yeah, I mean, he's just like I am gonna mow everything fucking down. Look at that. Oh. Dude, yeah, I mean, again, who doesn't want to fucking walk around with a goddamn minigun and just destroy everything? <laughs> Kill them all! He is, he's doing that. But see, he keeps getting hit. This is a big ass map. And that's a good point. This was one of the earlier freaking uh, deals with. Call of Duty when they had more of an open map and it wasn't like very linear where you kind of went from one point to the next. This was a much more open map where you could kind of, you know, you had points you had to go, but you could like kind of go around them and that type of thing. So that was a that was a big thing with Rokuda that they hadn't done before. Yeah. Explosions. It's a lot of rounds. So. Yeah, this dude. He's got like eight guys behind him holding rounds for him. Yeah, so usually when you fire a minigun, we'll have boxes huge, huge. that are like this wide, maybe this high, and there's what? 10,000 rounds in there or something so. like that? I think 10. 10,000 rounds, and it's a lot. It's a lot of space. So that guy just fired probably like. 200,000 rounds? I mean, yeah, no way. Dude, CS gas, tear gas is no fucking joke. Never left me. Mason. He looks so angry. Well, you know. It's like the jack. That's Mason in his younger days, you know. We do not have much time within this shrine to the hypocritical decadence of our Kutus leaders. Place the key to step eight. There you go. Freedom. Freedom. I wonder if he's gonna get on there and ride bitch. Oh no, he's got a. <laughs> he's like, I'm getting my own. Dumb and dumber. He's like, <laughs> Hey guys. Are they just gonna? They're gonna jump that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they are. Oh Jesus Christ. Dude, can you imagine how how soft that thing lands with that? The fuck off, man. <laughs> All about riding Dude. Mason's like, I'm just out fucking. Whoa! Where the fuck did those dudes just come from? They drop out of a fucking helicopter? Those are nice Russian fucking shots on those things. <laughs> <laughs> these dudes are getting some serious air with those, like, World War II era fucking Russian motorcycles. Still pretty fun. Yeah, and again, this was another big part about this game was. Oh. Dude, look at this. Like, I'm just going to drive directly into the helicopter firing at me. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was very Terminator, where he fucking spins the gun. I was say, I would get up on that, bitch. Oh, and of course there's a gun up there. Hell yeah. There you go. Dude, this it does look like a lot of fun. So many explosions. Keep on, Fuck the there you go. Oh! This dude's taking a lot of, a lot of rounds. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like the veteran. I mean, he should have. <laughs> dude, up, oh, up! Oh, somebody above you is shooting. 
Now what are they gonna do? Are they gonna jump onto the tree? Yes, sir. Jump, Jesus jump. Christ. It's a big jump. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> that was like 80 feet. Jump, Mason! Your turn! Come on! It's like, use your cartoon powers! Jump, Mason! I like the music. For you, Mason! Not for me! Raise the arm! Yeah, what is that music? What was that? It was like circus music or yeah, some shit. Yeah, recorded. But that was the last you saw of Victor Reznov. Yes. At least for a while. Boom. That was pretty intense. That was intense. I've never seen that. That looked fun as fuck. Dude, like, you had, Jesus Christ, we had knives, AKs, freaking grenade launchers, grenade launchers guns, pistols, uh, motorcycles. They a, they fired a huge grappling hook into a helicopter. The discos, uh, uh, the mini guns, like, there's a lot going on. Dude, they hit. They hit all the. They, I think they hit all the so, all the meat and potatoes of video game death that you want in a first-person shooter. I think they. Uh, I see why that's popular. They it's, hit it. Uh, yeah. Fun to get the fuck out of dodge. I mean, the whole goal is to escape and blast your way out. There's a lot of blasting, and that was the big thing too with Vorkuta. Is that was one of the first Call of Duties where they went through like all that crazy stuff, and yeah, so huh. super popular, but very cool. I'm very glad you guys told us to watch this because this shit was pretty dope. So good uh, game, man. Yeah. want to play that. Now. Yeah, that was an awesome game. That was a really, really cool. Ton of action, uh, super crazy, a lot of fun. Um, I actually would go out and probably buy that myself just to just to play that a little bit. You could still play it. Yeah. I don't even know if you can find that thing. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. I uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, a lot more in store in the future. So peace out, Girl Scout. Peace. I have to piss so bad, dude. <laughs>